Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now mid-December. I said I'd bring you back in the spring, but I've been busy doing quite a few jobs and uh, I just didn't want to keep skipping through it all. So we're going to have a, probably a short episode for today, but it's just going to bring you up to speed on how things have been going. Um, it's only, obviously only been about a month, but I've been super busy. I had to get all the hay in. I'm going to put in some screenshots of the work I did because some of that I did remember some uh, hay coming out of there but yeah brought all the hay in um, I had it all stacked up here we've uh, finally got it moved in and the straw so we've got a fair old bit in here the uh, the top keeps clipping on the roof of the shed makes it hard to uh, to get some of them off so they're just in threes and fours now rather than double stack with a two and a three but anyway yeah that's all in I then got all the grass in, hopefully I've got some screenshots of that as well, bringing the grass in and uh, doing the feed, and in fact we got enough feed in that at one point this was full and the, 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 uh, the beef uh, pen was full. What we have here is the last of the fresh grass, so if I start this up. Now we made 233,000 again um, because obviously our cows are getting a little bit older they're producing so much food. We're now over 2 million. Like I, I think Maypole is now a success. I'm just going to move this. Yeah, I think my, we can say Maypole is a success and uh, provide them for the next few months. I can keep them fed. Next year will be exactly the same and we'll be able to feed them and fill them up with fresh grass at the start of winter and hopefully then that and whatever silage and uh, root crop we have left over will feed them through winter and then we'll be back to uh, spring and we'll be back to uh, pumping in fresh cut grass again which will feed them up and fill them up and uh, yeah they'll never be an issue we've reached that point now where the farm is a stable dairy I believe so in, in that, I think in the next coming months in the farm's life, we'll probably look to uh, to move on out. So I think we need to try a new challenge somewhere else. But we've got a few more episodes to do. We've got to make sure it is stable. It looks like it is. When you've got that much money, it doesn't matter. Ooh, stable, driving into everything. Um, when you've got that much money, it doesn't matter if we do run a bit low, because buying and feeding isn't going to be an issue. Let's get on with a few other little jobs and uh, see what there is to do in the winter. Our big meadow has been subsoiled and we're going to set off our worker. The only trouble is when it snows, I never find my cursor. Uh, yeah, we're going to set off our worker to uh, stone pick. They should shoot off into the middle, I think. And then uh, in spring we'll get that planted fresh grass that'll be ready to go now although it's snowing an absolute blizzard it's not supposed to be uh, laying I think around about 10 o'clock it should be clearing the snow we've had snow on and off uh, for a couple of days and it's supposed to snow for the next two or three days on and off I believe I'm hoping we don't get too much lay because we want to get out. I want to slurry the uh, the big grass meadow uh, up in the corner. I forget its number. Uh, 53. I wanted to say 53, but didn't want to be wrong. So yeah, we've got that to do. Lost my cursor again. And uh, I've managed to muck spread most of the other fields. The only one that's left to do is the big um, cornfield. So we're going to go set a worker up to slurry spread the meadow and then we're going to come back and we're going to uh, muck spread the uh, what was the cornfield that we chaffed so we're going to let them go off and do that pH on here is bad but I don't think there's such an issue with grass I've been watching a few other people lately and they don't seem to worry about the pH of their grass just the nitrogen and uh, as I said before once once we get round to spring, we're going to come out and grass roll all of our grass 
and that should bounce it up and um, get us an extra cutting. We're already cutting nearly four times a year, so we could get a fifth cutting if we roll every time we cut. On the way back, it did stop snowing, which is nice. But now we've got this nice sort of foggy, frosted look. I like this. This is cool. Lovely lighting. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump back in our fen and uh, we're going to go out. It's already filled. I was going to do, like I said, I was going to do all of this off screen. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to come back just for a quick episode and to show you a little bit of what I've been doing rather than come back in, let's say, February and have four months, three, four months of catch up to rabble on about. I'll do a little one here where I show a little bit of work and uh, yeah, I'll tell you about what I've been doing and hopefully I still have the screenshots to uh, show you what I've been doing. So our field out on the right, I'm sure, if I just jump out, I'm sure this one has been, uh, yeah, nitrogen is neutral at the minute, so that's fine. in here. I'm just going to chuck some on. I did purchase um, soil samples for all of our fields again. That cost us a, a few quid, but like I say, we're just making that crazy money now off the mill. So it's not really an issue. Now recently, uh, it may have already come out before this, I uh, purchased a really big, uh, the Roland, I'm sure it's the Roland uh, muck spreader on uh, Shire Farms because we're not using the uh, the fill limit on there. Oh, it was so good. We got like 35,000 litres of manure in there and we were able to pull it with the, the class. I mean, the, the muck spreader required like 220, 240 horsepower and uh, our big class, our 960, I think it's uh, 440 horsepower. So we pulled it and it pulled it fine. It's just a shame we can't get that sort of thing going on here because of the uh, the fill limit. But I want to keep this one a little bit more realistic. And when we move on to the next one from Maple, that will be a little bit more realistic as well. I don't want two surreal series going on with um, GE equipment and stuff like that. But it's nice to have something that's a little bit fun on the um, on the map challenge because that is going to be a hell of a challenge. And we want to try and get through it. Uh, for one, because the map's quite broke. And for two, there's other maps, bigger maps, I want to try and do that on in a more realistic fashion. So, but now we've started it, we have to finish it. We've set ourselves the challenge. Also been watching a few other people with regards to some course play. And I need to do my overlaps a bit more. And then I can get rid of some of these corner bits. That's what it is. I need to set my uh, my headland overlap a little bit higher. Still got stones there, but that'll be alright. That'll be fine. Just a few little stones. I mean, we can almost get a full headland with this, which is pretty cool. But if we were able to fill it right up, we'd definitely get our full headland. <laughs> and that would be very cool. It's, it's just... Yeah, how much time you save when you can get full loads. You now on uh, on Shire, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out before this, so I'm all right talking about it. We used the uh, the Tardis uh, to do some um, well forage wagon to pick up some uh, some what was that? It's a grass. Yeah, grass to go in the silage pit, and that was so much quicker because obviously, well, the Tardis holds uh, twenty thousand liters. And we were pulling it with our, our 960 again. But because our other wagon was only like 22,000 litres, being able to fill 20,000 litres in for for what was only one empty in the, with the TARDIS would have been eight or nine empties. So it's just time saved. And that's why I say, even if we could just get that extra 30% fill here, you'd be surprised over the course of the year, over the course of the month, over the course of the even the manure session, the muck spread session, uh, how many less trips back we do. Because it does add up. 
but I'm going to shut up for a bit now, and uh, we'll just get this field spread. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started, a life is a dream or a nightmare scarring, hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in, get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling, cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car, wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir, yeah. Take a six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going And that's our big field Ready to be replanted with corn on silage Because I do want to keep corn silage going Because If we I know we just got rid of a feed mixer, but if we had a feed mixer, a big feed mixer, like a really big one, unfortunately the Keenan just didn't have the capacity. And you put in grass silage and corn silage, you get a TMR mix. And then you just chuck in something else to bulk it out. So that could be something else that comes to the farm in future, just so we can get that tip. Because if it's a TMR mix, it will fill all slots rather than just one or two. And that's the advantage to doing the TMR. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Don't think we have anything else to fertilise. But you know how we are up here. We might buy a field at some point. Just because. Just because we can. So let's put the fence away, I think. You may notice, although this one's now dirty, I had cleaned all my tractors. In between doing all the grass runs and everything else, I thought, oh, just with clean stuff. Have a nice, fresh looking farm for the new year. That's what we'll do. But that's still got day. I did clean up some of the equipment as well. Because it's something I don't do very often so I thought, you know what, I'll do that. People might people might like that I've cleaned stuff up. So let's just have a little look around. Let's have a look actually let's just check in on our animals. See now although we completely filled that feed trough out in uh, end of November, by mid-December, it's all pretty empty. So we're going to have to try and get some more feed in there to help keep them productive. We'll start with a bit of roughage. So we've got a good stack of it now. I think when I do my live streams, <laughs> I need to do square bales. It's so much easier. Getting this lot in here took absolutely no time at all. Did a Bally Spring stream the other day with uh, <laughs> round bales, and <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. Part partly bale fork, partly me. I want to make sure we haven't got too much on there. That'll be all right. seem to be on very well. I don't know what that's about. Just usual Mr. Farquhar wheel load of bale work, I guess, to be fair. Because they're never on there very well, are they? Now they are. <laughs> now they're on. So they should go in alright. Yeah, that just got underneath it rather than in it. Lovely. I do like it when they drop. So it's so annoying when they float. Now there is no bedding in there. So you have to get a straw blower now for that. Really. Because I put the hay in and then put the straw in. You can see the straw is sort of in the way for the hay. Let's see if I can bring them out a little bit. Then we'll try and put them on properly. Put them on proper, lad. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much what I'm going to spend the rest of winter doing now is until probably the end of February. I think end of Feb is when we'll try and build our extension to the farm. Then that'll be a good time to do it. 
So until the end of February, I'm just going to come out each day, chuck some bales in, uh, put some silage in, put some uh, sugar beet or potatoes in. We've got that big old pile of potatoes. I want to try and maybe use up the big pile of potatoes so they're gone and out of the way. Potatoes are a short-lived plant here. Since the feed changed. And uh, for good as well. If not, we were just requiring so much for different feeds and stuff. So the fact that it did change is a pretty good thing. What did I just hit? Nothing. I felt like I hit something. Yeah, I don't want to overdo the roughage. Because we were at about 50% because of uh, other feed in there. So really what I want to do now is get some some base. I feel like we keep hitting stuff, but there's nothing there's nothing there. about. <laughs> I'm feeling a collision and there's not one. And there's never been one before. So yeah, we'll get a little bit of uh, silage in there and then uh, I'll try and top the rest up with my uh, sugar beets and potatoes. So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, get yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on stage So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? Sometimes you need to let loose, grab juice, get goose, tie tattoos, taboos, get screwed. Loosen up, buttercup, all those hate comments will never make you feel enough. We're all adequate graduates, heart full of calluses. But Obviously, that's not filled half inch off, but that'll give you a little idea of what I'm going to be doing the next few months. Just want to show you, look. Here, we found this with the, the, the beats as well. It's hard to get this up off the bottom here. And you end up having to paint it away, so you lose quite a bit of your produce when you put them in here. Whether that's just a me thing again, I don't know. But that's uh, that's something that does happen. Anyway, I'm going to head over and uh, keep an eye on my worker. Oh, our stone picker's done. Let's do that. Let's get that emptied. Hopefully, it's done a good job. I'm not going to worry about checking on the little bits. Well, that's done. Let's go get this done, and uh, then I'll go and check in on the worker. It's funny, isn't it? Of all the times we get a great demand at the stone crusher, there's never a great demand when I've got stones. But I'm sure we'll get a few pennies for this. I think we did quite well last time, like two grand. I don't think this is worth two grand, but... Uh, got a thousand for it. That's not bad. Right, I'm going to return that to the store and then we're going to jump on and see how the uh, story spread's getting on. Well, it would seem our work has really been smashing it out here today. If I pan out, you can see they're, they're almost finished. I should imagine they'll have a little bit to do under <laughs> under the cover of darkness to get this finished today. But I think they've done a real good job. Pretty uh, pretty happy about that. We'll jump out and leave them to it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully this gets really chopped down to something quite small because that's all I want it to be. A little little update of what's going on in winter. I'm going to have to spend pretty much December 3 and all through January just filling up the feed troughs for the cows. I might try and uh, do a little mix for the chickens as well because no doubt they're getting hungry again. But that's going to be it. Hopefully I'll be back to see you guys uh, in-game come late February. I want to be there before before March. March is when the big work starts. So I think late February is when we're going to try purchase a bit of land and extend the farm. Uh, no doubt we're going to keep ticking over, making about 100 
between anywhere between 100 and 200 grand a day, providing I can keep them cows fed. So we'll have plenty of money to buy sheds and stuff and build something nice and new round on the other side of our farm. But that is going to be it. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, get a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Love the feedback. Love the interaction. Uh, come join us in the Discord. Uh, apparently the link uh, expired and it shouldn't have done. I've put a new link out on the community feed. I'll try and get around to uh, making sure the new link is uh, in the descriptions. The homepage link works. But anyway, yeah, you can do that. Check out uh, Mr. Farquhar Plus if you're interested in old other games. We'll say alternative games. This is an alternative game. <laughs> if you're in, in more uh, variety gaming, getting that going, we're running uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy at the minute. It's a game I wanted to play a long time ago. Never got around to it, so we're uh, having a bit of fun with that. But anyway, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.